Hello, Rob from Van Compass here, and today we're going to do a detailed look at Falcon's electronic shock absorbers. These are known as their ADAPT systems. These shock absorbers are included in our Van Compass Stage 2.5, 4.5, and 6.5 kits for four-wheel drive Mercedes Sprinter vans. Now, the main reason why you want to be able to have adjustability in your suspension is to be able to compensate for various road conditions and payload capacities. Now, these vans vary as far as what their intended use is for. Some are used as cargo vans, some are used as uh, full-blown camper vans, and then some are weekend warriors that are a combination of the two. So being able to ramp up your shock damping profile by firming up the suspension is invaluable in being able to make the ride quality as optimum as possible. Additionally, the ability to be able to soften up the shock absorbers on the van for off-road travel really minimizes the harshness that you experience on washboards and undulating forest roads. The first parameter to set up when installing the ADAPT system is how firm the shocks get when the computer transitions the shocks to firm. That is done individually at all four corners on each shock using this little red knob. The higher the number, the more firm the shock will be when it is transitioned to the firm setting. The lower the number, it will be a little bit softer. Again though, this is when it's in the firm setting. The next parameter to set up is calibrating the ADAPT module that is mounted in the vehicle under the driver's seat. Now to do this, you need to download Falcon's app on your iPhone or Android and run through the calibration process on your phone. The calibration process is pretty simple. You're going to, and it's going to tell you what to do on your phone throughout the process. But basically, you're going to turn the van on, run the vehicle up to a consistent 15 miles per hour, and then firmly apply the brakes so that the module knows its orientation in the vehicle. Now, once the calibration process is complete, you can begin to utilize the in-cab control feature of the ADAPT system. Now, there are three positions on the in-cab control toggle, auto mode, soft, and firm. To ensure that the ADAPT module has calibrated and is working correctly, you'll need to have the app open on your phone and reference the colors on the screen. In soft, the background will be gray. In firm, the background will be red. And in auto mode, when the van is not moving, the background will be gray, which means the shocks are in soft mode. So what auto mode does is it enables the ADAPT module to transition the shocks from soft to firm once the vehicle crosses a G threshold. Now there are three G thresholds which can be crossed, which will tell the computer to transition the shocks from soft to firm. And there's forward acceleration, side acceleration, and rearward acceleration. Forward acceleration is exactly what it sounds like. You're accelerating very quickly. And if you cross a G threshold, like you're pushed back far enough, it's going to transition the shocks from soft to firm. Side acceleration is again, sideways movement. So the rocking from side to side that a lot of these vans are known to do, once you set, you set the parameter you want the shocks to switch to firm, it'll automatically transition the shocks and eliminate that rocking very quickly once it crosses that G threshold. Rearward acceleration is heavy braking. So you come up to a stop sign quickly or a red a stoplight turns red and you weren't expecting, and you're firmly braking and slowing down the van, the shocks are going to transition to firm. So Falcon's app comes with a factory default setting of the parameters for auto mode. This setting works well. You can use this to learn the system, but if you want to fine tune it and make it unique to you, you can just simply add another program that is specific to your driving style, your driving preface, and potentially road conditions. So for me personally, I like to have two individualized programs, one for highway and one for off-road. For highway mode, I prefer to have the G threshold set relatively low and the duration set relatively high. And what that means is the shocks are going to transition from soft to firm relatively quickly because I'm not, I don't have the G threshold set very high in the sense that like it doesn't, it's not going to take much to unsettle the van for the shocks to get automatically switched to firm mode and bring it back and optimize control. For off-road mode, I have my program set up kind of the opposite of that. 
the shocks stay soft for a lot longer. So the G threshold is higher and the duration is very short. I want the shocks soft for as long as possible because it really smooths out washboard and undulating forest roads. It's sim think of it similar to being having the tires aired down or having them up at full highway pressure. For off-road mode, I have the duration set very low so that as soon as it, I hit a big bump or it hits something sideways that really offset, really throws the van one direction, it's going to switch the shocks to firm, bring back the control, and then immediately go back to soft. I hope that explained Falcon's ADAPT system, which is included in all Van Compass Stage 2.5, 4.5, and 6.5 kits for four-wheel drive Sprinter vans. We're super excited about bringing these products to market, and we can't wait to bring more innovative products to you for the van market. For any information or more details about this, check out our website at vancompass.com.